It's a question that goes right back to my place of birth. They are in the great Karoo. The world is so flat that you're born with vision. <laughs> At about 12 years of age, two friends of mine, both sides, one Jacobson and one von Sventer, we looked at the back of some comics, I can't remember which, and they advertised little blue books, Alderman Julius, blue books in America, a long list, and you could mark in the little block what you're interested in. And I ordered a lot of books. I still have them. On the psychology side, things that interested me at that stage was the title, you know. Psychoanalysis made plain, why Parsons go wrong, etc. Aberrations in, uh, in the psyche. And I ordered all the books and we wrote them a little note and said that, please, we, we haven't got money to pay, but we are young boys and we're interested. The books arrived. Now I started paging through the books. And my dear old mother got very worried because she saw stuff lying around. And on a certain morning when I got home, there was the minister of religion sitting in my room going through the books and he had a whole stack of books on the one side. Because amongst the books on the psychology side was the essence of Talmud, essence of Confucianism, essence of Hebrew, essence of Hinduism, essence all the religions of the world, the essence of the little book. Ach, and then there was uh, ventriloquism, self-taught and singing self-taught, etc. A whole lot of that type of books. And then the juicy ones is uh, Scottish jokes and Irish jokes and medical jokes and no jokes about Parsons and so on. But the minister of religion asked whether he could take away all those books. So I said, no. You don't work during the week, so come and sit here and read the books if you want to read the books. I could see that my mother was very upset because she's a dear old lady. She looked at these books and she thought, hmm, I must check with some expert to tell me whether he should be allowed to read these books. Well, my, that's where my interest really started. And uh, in those days, there was no such thing as occupational uh, differentiation in a small little career door. There was no uh, career planning. There was no counseling, teaching, or any formal aspect of preparing children for any future. The medical doctor, he looked at it and you thought, hmm? but then you've got to go down to Cape Town. Haitis, English, not, because Pretoria did not exist for the people in the R. You can become an attorney. Now, you don't want to be called the local shark. You can become a teacher, the teacher says, listen, don't be stupid and waste your brains. It doesn't pay. Do something else. Anyhow, now you go, and you need money to go to university. The church says that if you follow a certain line, we can provide you with the funds. Off I go, Stellenbosch, the BA degree, theological admission with Hebrew, Greek, philosophy, Afrikaans, Netherlands. And I get to Stellenbosch, and suddenly the world opens up. I hear things that I've never heard before. Like the mathematical statistics. So I went around and I had a, a, a relations um, uh, of mine, a professor. He, his wife was a doctor in Afrikaans, Netherlands, and she was actually the, the family connection. But I went to him and I spoke to him and I said to him, I'm here, this is the background but I feel that I would like to take physiology. I would like to take business economics. I would like to take statistical 
math, 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 mathematical statistics. Is it possible? Not really, because in the end, there's a clash on the roster when you write exams and the, the one faculty and the other faculty. But you can take it sort of extra, but uh, so eventually I got permission to take it extra. And instead of writing at the end of the year, I was allowed to join the July handicap in the next year. Those days, if you fail in a subject like this, you're allowed to repeat it in the July handicap in the next year. So now, okay, that's all right. I can now write all my extra subjects, physical anthropology, biology, uh, physiology, etc. I can write it next year in June. So now come the end of the year and I go back and I said, I would like to go into the second year, second. It was first half, I said, but you said I must only write the exam next year. So they eventually allowed me to carry on with the second year, provided obviously that if I don't pass the first year in July, my second year is, is, is wiped off the board. Well, I went through, eventually I got a BA degree. Uh, because of my interest since 12 years in all these subjects allowed, uh, connected to psychology, when I went to the psychology department to old Professor Yankees van Riesburg, and I spoke to him and I said to him, this is, I'm, I'm interested. And already I've been listening and I put my ear to the ground and I've heard the word pastoral psychology. That sounded to me to be the thing that I'm really interested in. I don't want to stand and preach every Sunday. I want to work during the week. It's a pastoral psychology. So I went to the theological seminary and there was an old professor same surname, for the Royan. And I spoke to him, and when I mentioned the word pastoral psychology, he says, don't use those two words in the same breath. The pastoral practice is holy, etc., etc. And that lot of sensual rubbish that comes from Freud, I don't want to hear about it. So I thought, no. There's no such thing as having as pastoral psychology. So then I'll drop the pastoral and I'll go for the psychology.